<laughs> Hi, uh, Alex P. Keaton, sophomore hospitality committee. Congratulations. <laughs> Who is or was your favorite co-star to kiss? My wife. That's easy. I just remember that terrifying first week on Family Ties and being more scared than anything else I'd ever done. I felt she brought the character in my work to a new level just purely by her presence and by the quality of her work. I do not have a chip on my shoulder. I am a very nice person, except when I'm around people like you. Oh, people like me, people like me. I happen to like people like me. <laughs> but I didn't start seeing her when she was on the show. Yes, it wasn't love at first sight. Miss Nancy McKeon and Mr. Michael Fox. In fact, at the time, Michael was dating the Facts of Life star, and Tracy was in a long-term relationship with Footloose's Kevin Bacon. So a couple years later, when uh, I ran into her again and we started seeing each other, of all the great things that have come from this show, uh, Tracy, obviously, is by far and away the best. Michael, right here. Thank you, Michael. E.T. E was there for the couple's first red carpet together at the Emmys. The following July, their Vermont wedding created a media frenzy. Photographers staked out the ceremony on the ground and in the sky. It was very small. It was maybe 50, 60 people. Um, and then about 300 press people outside uh, trying, to, trying to get in. Certain members of, of uh, uh, the print media were upset that they couldn't get in. So I picked up the newspapers and some magazines, and I saw that, that we got bad reviews. I said, honey, our, our wedding got bad reviews. So our wedding was another whole surreal thing, but it was great. And it stuck. It took, which is all that matters. Mike, Michael! But Michael and Tracy had one important rule for their relationship, keep their personal and professional lives separate. You know, it confuses a marriage when you become, you know, that, that Hollywood uh, couple, you know, and, and, and instead of worrying about how your, 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 your marriage is going, you're worrying about what your grosses were and how your box office was, and you, you, know, you can't measure your relationship that way. We're a marriage first and a family first, and we just happen to both do the same thing for a living. The two made an exception and reunited on screen in 1997, playing high school sweethearts on an episode of Spin City. Tracy hasn't worked in this form since, since family, family times. times. Does it feel good to be back in the groove of it? Well, this is the perfect schedule. I mean, you know, he's, he's here in New York, and um, all weekends are free, and you know, the hiatuses. So, so it's actually like being married to a normal person. <laughs> It's been fun hanging together this week. And it's hard to believe, but this summer, they'll celebrate their 35th anniversary. So uh, through all the trials and tribulations, how have you made that marriage work? Uh, it's so cliche, but we, we just really like each other. We're, we're, we're most happy in each other's company. Yeah. We make each other laugh. You have said that you had this huge crush on Tracy. Do you still have that crush on more, her? More, more than ever, every every day. <laughs> There's nothing else you could say right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but it's true, I mean, that's why I'm so quick with it. It, it, it. Just absolutely, I totally have a crush on her. She's great, she's, she's, she's my best friend, and, and she's so sexy as hell, and she's great.